Hey everybody, Sloppy Joe here. So we're gonna go through the procedure I've just taught myself, which is how to solo launch a boat at a boat launch. Um, this is our new to us Rinker Captiva. It's a 21 foot uh, stern drive cutty cap. Uh, we've had it about a month. So I've been going through the process of learning to tow, back up a boat, um, and how to launch. We, we live about a mile away from a boat launch here in town. So it's very convenient after work to get home and shoot on down. So we're gonna go on down and uh, launch this thing solo and show you guys how we do that. Okay guys, so before we take off, we've made sure that the chocks on the uh, trailer, they're out of the way. We've got our uh, boater ID card. We've got our key card to lower the bullard at the boat launch. So we're all good to go there. Um, and when we get down to the launch, I'll show you how we prep the boat and get in the water. And I'm gonna do a timed run this time. So now that I've launched the boat probably a dozen times, I wanna do a timed run is see how long it takes me to drop the boat, uh, to, to back the boat in, drop it in the water and be underway. So we're gonna try that out. So we got about a 45 second drive, depending on how people let me out onto the main road. But other than that, uh, we'll see you down at the dock. All right, so we're pulling up to the loading dock up ahead. So I'm gonna pull up and it looks like it's clear. So I'm gonna prep the boat and I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. And you always wanna prep the boat before you drop it in the water or get close because you don't wanna block people. You don't wanna hold people up um, because you just wanna kinda of have that common courtesy. So it's gonna take about two minutes and we'll uh, show what we do. All right, so here we are. So I like to keep my dock, my fenders in the back of the Rover. So when I get down here, I can just pull them out of the back of the truck and I can just uh, throw them onto the boat. And then that way when I have it, um, when I have it actually in the water, it just makes life a whole lot easier so I'm not messing with these um, once the boat's actually touching water. So there's the front, let's go around, throw this one on the back. Right. So, and what you'll also see is I have my my stern line, and I've got my bow line already, basically set up and ready to go. And what I'll do with the bow line is I'll just loop it around the cleat here. So once the boat, um, once the boat touches water, uh, I can easily just grab this and then step onto the dock. So while we're here, let's get the safety chain. We'll get this undone, maybe, there we go. So we just want to get as much of this stuff out of the way as we can. So we'll get that out of the way. And always very important. First thing I always do when I come around the back side is toss in the drain plug. Kind of an important step. Now sometimes I'll do this at home in the driveway um, if I'm really looking to save time, like on a weekend when I know it's gonna be crowded down here. But since it's Monday afternoon, um, it's not very busy, as you can see. Normally on a Saturday or a Sunday, this would be pretty crowded. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo our straps and uh, then we'll be ready to back this boat in and uh, drop her in the water. So I'm gonna undo the straps. Okay, guys, so the uh, stern straps, the trailer straps are out of the way. Those are all put away in the Rover. We've got our uh, drain plug is in, we've got our fenders on and we've got our bow line ready make sure our stern line is good okay stern line is good to go so next step is uh, backing her in
So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna line line the truck up with the actual uh, launch itself, and then I got to get out and swipe my key card to drop the uh, the bullard so we can actually back all the way in. So I'm gonna get lined up and we'll go from there. Not sure if those people are launching or if they are. I'm not sure what they're doing. I might have to get out and ask them. Go swipe our key, go swipe our key card and see what these people are doing. Well, so now we're parked and we're just taking a leisurely stroll. It's about a block and a half, maybe, get back down to the boat launch. So you can't exactly park right next to the launch. But in any case, I think total time-wise, let me look at my watch. Right now I'm at about 20 minutes total from leaving my front door to the boat being on the water and we'll probably be at about 25 minutes um, when I've got the engine fired and we're uh, we're starting to head out to the lake so I'm gonna uh, I'll stop this here and in about one minute I'll be back when we are uh, firing up the engines
Oh, not a bad day. Nice and smooth, almost glassy. It's gonna be a good day to run the boat.
Chloe. Turn some music. That's it, we're on the water. See you guys later.